Hello and welcome to Looky Looky Loo Crafts. Today's intro sign was created by Navasha of What's Going On. Thank you, Navasha. Alrighty. Okay, so guys, I'm just here uh, with my book and my uh my book. I, I finished it, but I am having a problem with my Velcro tabs, okay? One, they keep sliding out of the way. I didn't glue them there. They just keep migrating up. And so it doesn't look good. It's not staying where I want it. I've used uh, my 3-in-1 glue to try to tack them down. And they're still migrating. So I don't know what's up with that. And so, yeah. So this is my book, and I went to great lengths to make sure that my writing was upside right, but my book is going the wrong way. It's going that way. So if I turn it over this way, the writing is still upside right, but the flap is... It was meant to go like this, but that way is upside down. <laughs> so... <laughs> It's just going to be upside down. I don't know what I was thinking. I, I I was really trying to get my make sure I got my print right on on my paper and my paper right. So I, I don't know what happened. But if anyone has any uh, experience with these Velcro dots moving and you know how to stop it or, or what I should do, let me know. Because, you know, I think my book come out nice except for for this and, and the upside down paper. So, don't craft when you're sick. You can't think straight. <laughs> Which probably doesn't affect me that much because I can't think straight anyhow. Hmm. Okay, so I am using my light, my new light from Tohito US. And I just have it sitting up on the, uh, on my side table here. Uh, this little clamp, there we go. This little clamp on the bottom, it, it it's what you use to clamp onto your your monitor, but it doesn't fit on mine. But it also makes this little stand, which I didn't realize at the time, and so it stands up, and that's pretty awesome. And it's got that other little stand too, what I'm calling a stand. So if this helps with the glare and uh, helps you to see better, y'all let me know. And I have found it's better to not have it glaring in my eye. So I kind of turn it away from my eye. I still hope that it's putting light on my projects. And I would like it to be a little higher. But uh, yeah, I will experiment in putting it places. And see how that works. But uh, I'm loving the little light. I really am. I just need a bigger clip. Okay. All right. So what I was doing is just filling out my little book. Okay. So now I have to hang on to them or they'll fall off. And maybe it's because I put it on my lace, but I don't know. So y'all can see that. Oh, uh, but I don't, know, I don't know. Now this is my pages. I ended up with six pages. Okay, so what I started out to do, I was talking to my friend, uh, Melissa Sue, and uh, she was talking about putting two pages together and putting one on this side of my flap and putting another two pages on this side of my flap, and that would give me... Uh, you know, the front and back use of the, the front page. And also have an extra page here. And that would have gave me 12 pages. But I couldn't figure that out. Oh, wait, it's upside down. Okay, my papers are upside down. So my pages have to go this way. Okay, so I didn't get it right at all. <laughs> Maybe I put my pages upside down. I don't know. 
Don't grouse when you're sick. <laughs> anyway, see, I lost my my Velcro. I just came off. Well, I'll leave it stuck over there because it'll have to stick later. So, okay, it's upside down. Now, it's upside down. Okay, well, so whether I like it or not, it's got to shut this way. And my words are still upside down. Okay, so I don't know what happened. I was just, don't crash when you're sick is all I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, I ended up with six pages, Melissa. I couldn't figure that out. Because if I put a page here and a page here, there wouldn't be any room in between the pages for stuff. I mean, how would you bend it? And I thought about putting a... A score here you know so it could be in but I, then I decided that that would uh, wear out and, and maybe not hold my stuff so anyway I went on with the original way that I did it so uh, yeah if you make one and you do the the, the double-sided uh, thing with your 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 peaks under here your accordion file let me know. I mean, record that part so I can see it. Yeah, that would be awesome. Or anyone else. Uh, um. So, this is my... <laughs> my book, I'm going to call it. <laughs> that is upside down and backwards. So, <laughs> I think it's still going to work for me. It might be a little aggravating. And I got it for my California Karen... Well, I made it for my California can. <laughs> Tea stash. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and, uh, so, I'm going to try it and I hope it all works out for the best. Uh, yeah, guys, don't craft while you're sick and, and, uh, <laughs> can't take care of yourself. So, uh, I'm going to put uh, stuff here and there, and I don't know where. I, I could cut that. And, let's see, I want to make a pineapple journal because I have lots of pineapples. I don't know, are, are these coasters that we're using? Uh, someone sent me roses and said, hey, those are coasters. And I just thought they were a crafty thing. But this is kind of, sort of the same thing. But, you know, not exactly. So, I may have to put these in two, two separate piles. So, I want to get all my pineapple stuff in, in uh, one paper. Um, um, all together, all together. Pineapple stuff. Okay, I got that. That has to go away. Those are my feathers. They can go in there. They don't need to be open, so they could just hang out in there. I'll put those somewhere else. Okay, these are my pink doilies. I want a spot for all my doilies. Those are my hippie flowers. These are my styrofoam goodies. Okay, so I don't know how much pineapple stuff I got, but I want to leave my like-minded stuff together, I think. So that don't go in there, because this will be my styrofoam flowers, I think. I could put them in there. And they'll fit on that page. And and so that's what I'm doing. It's just trying to figure out how things are going to go. Oh, here's my pineapple. Oh, thanks. So see, now i got to take my feathers out. I'll, I'll put them somewhere else. Because my pineapple thing's going here. And I have other pineapple stuff, so 
it will be making an appearance here and there. I got these little things. Nope, don't want to put those in there. These might have to wait. Those types of things. I have these. And again, I might have to take these out. Other packages. But this is what I'm doing. Look at those. Aren't those cute? Well, I'm showing you. Y'all already seen it all. Okay, so this one goes for that. This is a flamingo. This kind of thing can just slide right in there. And it doesn't need to be in my sticker book. I'm going to make one more for my Lisa box. And, uh, and uh, look at this guy. Thank hey, you. I might put him on the front. There's some more pineapples. Hearts and felt. There we go. So these are my yellows. And I suppose once I get my pineapple uh, journal made, I will uh, add whatever I have left into a tea stash or, a, you know, a giveaway or something like that. Because, uh, you know, how many pineapples do you need? Uh, or I can make two journals. And if I don't make them upside down and backwards... Maybe I'll give them away. <laughs> okay, some of these. These are some flowers. This is more felt goodness. <coughs> and these can go in there. I think these little books are going to work out nice. Here are some big leaves. Now, I don't know if these are pineapple leaves or what they are, but I thought they would do good uh, for my pineapple journal, maybe, you know, to emphasize my pineapples, and maybe not. So, uh, but, but I'm putting them in there for a maybe session. Okay, they don't want to fit in that pocket because they've got the other pocket so full. But, yeah, we're going to put them there. And uh, everything is, these are sticker buttons. And I think they're going to be just a little too long. I might take them out of the package. I haven't decided yet. Oh, uh, ribbon, got to have that. I just used up a whole roll. Okay, this is more hearts. They go over there. There's your beautiful birds. See, some things are in baggies. And I don't know if I'll separate them out of the baggies or just put it in my basket. I think I'm going to separate them. Maybe. I, I like to ferret through my stuff, so I don't want everything super organized that I can't get to it. Let's see if those will fit in there. Or super organized so that I can't find it. I really don't, really, in reality, I should probably <laughs> not worry about being super, super organized. 
That probably ain't gonna happen. Okay, so I have another package of these. And I could take these out if I needed to with the package. I just put them in there. Okay, let's see what I got. That's my foam stuff. Foam stuff. More hearts. My shoes. This is real pretty, and I got some of that somewhere. I got to find it. I got some of this. I'm not going to leave it there, but I'm putting it there. Now, she's got these in cases. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to leave them in the cases. And find spots for this little stuff. Look at her. She's got a little clip. I could just clip it right on there. Make it pretty. Okay. So this is my foam flamingos. And I don't know. Flamingos kind of go with pineapples. And I got my hippie flowers. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with those yet. I'm going to put her name on them so they don't get lost. And I may separate some of the stuff in here or put some of that stuff in here. I haven't quite decided what to do with this little bit yet. But I got plenty of room in this book to put stuff. I mean, look at all this. I, I got plenty of room. I've only got a couple pages here. I might take these out of their package and put them in. I think if I took them out of the package, they, 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 they still won't fit. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. So these, like these big flowers, these need a home. So they, they need a place to live. So they won't get dirty. And they won't get forgotten. I don't know if it's in this book or, or not, but uh, they need some place to be. And uh, so I'm thinking I'm going to put them in here. I may have a few more of those elsewhere. But they're thick. So they take up space, you know, width-wise in the book. This one goes for that one. I'll put these over here. got going there. There we go. There. Well, that loosened it up a bit, didn't it? There's more in there. And it may be that I have to put a little envelope flap on there. And if I do, I do. That's okay. I don't know. Maybe that'll work there. Maybe it won't. We'll see. As I move it. Now, I want to put a pig pocket. Like here. Like halfway. But it'll have to be gusseted. To put oh, to put these things in, you know, so it would have to have like an inch gusset, or a, maybe a half inch to put this stuff in. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know if y'all got better ideas. You know, let me know what they are. I've also just thought about. Uh, Using a paper bag. I got a paper bag. And I could just glue the paper bag down and then just put those stuff in that paper bag. 
Or some paper bag. Oh, here it is. So, I have this paper bag. So, I was just going to open it. And glue that down. And then I could put stuff in it. Well, I cut this off. And maybe I won't cut that off. Maybe I'll just glue it on down and stick the stuff in it. Maybe that's what I should do. Or find a smaller bag. Y'all let me know uh, what you think on that. Uh, I got another bag here. That's probably uh, a little smaller. Still may be too big. Because I wouldn't want this whole bag to open up and be full. I, I, would, I don't have enough spine in my book. For that. If y'all could see what I'm talking about. So this is almost the length of my book. But if I opened this whole thing up, it wouldn't fit in my book. So I wouldn't want the whole thing to open up. I would just want a little bit to open up. Let's see if I can find some bumpy stuff to put in there. So I glue that. Maybe I glue this flap down so it only open a little bit. But still be enough to hold my bumpy stuff. Here's bumpy stuff. But these I'm going to put in pockets. So I could use them. There. So that would lay like that. And then I fold the top over. To keep everything in. Y'all let me know what you think about that idea. I, I don't know if that will work or not. But that's what I'm headed for. On one side... And on the other side, I was thinking I could just put my books in here, my uh, my bag, uh, another pocket, and put my bag in there. But I have two bags. So I'd be putting one bag back here and one bag up here. And I would only need a side pocket for that. So I'm also going with that. If I do that, I could put my paper bag... On the outside cover, maybe. So, those are my options. Those are my ideas. Y'all let me know what you think. And uh, give me extra options on these uh, Velcro tabs because they are not going to hold. They, they are going to need some extra doings. If they would hold, it would be great. But it's been empty and it won't hold. So, y'all let me know. Maybe it will hold now that i got something in it. I don't know. So, anyway, I'm not going to make y'all watch me go through this whole entire process of, of loading up my book. Uh, I just wanted to uh, make a video, uh, show you what I'm doing, or what I'm thinking about doing. Show you the progress of my latest book embellishment box and all the flub ups that I did when I thought I was doing so great. <laughs> I did. I thought I, I thought I had it all right, but no, I don't. I got it upside down and backwards. So yes. So what happens when you craft? When you don't feel good. See, now it is upside straight. <laughs> so, I don't know what I did. <laughs> but I wasn't supposed to open this way. But maybe maybe when I made it, I was thinking, yeah, it would open that way. So, I guess that's something. <laughs> okay, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Thanks for coming and sticking with me throughout this month. It's, it's been it's been kind of a rough month. So I do appreciate all of you who are sticking around and coming to visit me and uh, leaving me comments. And uh, I do appreciate you all. And hopefully I'll be back on my feet here in no time and back to making my daily videos. Okay, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, leave me a lovely comment, and as always, do as Lord have you to do, and I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye now.